previously on Balls. Now attention to, to, to some cricket this afternoon on, on Balls Visual Radio and uh, on the line we, not for the first time, we delighted to chat to Fahan Behadin. Fahan, good afternoon, welcome to Balls. Good afternoon guys, thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for, for joining us and we apologise for all the confusion and Johnny phoning you about nine <laughs> times before we finally set this up. No, no worries, always a pleasure. Have you got your feet up, kicking back ahead of your, uh, your Sunfall game tomorrow? I'm actually laying on my bed now, um, me and the sand and sun, watching a little bit of supporting uh, Bafana Bafana boys. Um, I just saw that shot that went miles over the over the crossbar. Jeez, I think Mornay Stain would have been chapter there. <laughs> Hopefully they can get a few more on target. Yeah, no, we certainly need something to happen for us in this game. Uh, we've got any chance of going through but listen um, obviously not a great performance by, by South Africa yesterday the Proteas no doubt bitterly disappointed uh, your, your take on the whole game inexperience letting us down um, I don't think it's a case of inexperience um, I think we just um, I think when the, when, the, when, when the pressure moment came we never played the pressure moment really well um, we had the game wrapped up at 170 for one, you know, needing five and a half runs and over. Graham and Colin were batting really smoothly. The one that I now changed the game, it swung the momentum in New Zealand's favour, you know. And, and and even then, you know, a couple of wickets down, we still had the game firmly in our grasp. Um, but the game unfolded the way it did, and we came off second best on the night. Yeah, it, and it's it's because we had. I mean, the game supposedly wrapped up in Paul as well, and it must be quite concerning yeah. to to coach Gary Kirsten and AB De Villiers and no doubt the whole team to to watch a game unravel that quickly. I think it, it is. I mean, Gary expressed his disappointment, and I think the guys, you know, they took a they felt really hurt after the game, you know, because it's not just another lost uh, last night. It, it was a series loss, you know. If he had lost the first game, or if, or if it was a five match series. Would have been slightly different because we, we we would have had time to resurrect it. But um, as we all know, the New, New Zealand have uh, already won the series at two 0 We have a game on Friday, um, you know, to kind of uh, restore some of that um, some of that pride, and and hopefully we can, you know, some of the shackles would have been lifted because uh, to to a certain extent it is an inexperienced side. I mean, I was making my debut. Yeah. Rory was his playing his second game. You know, Colin, Colin Ingram's been um, he hasn't played for about six to eight months. You know, in in, in the national setup, Quentin de Kock is a so young, a young guy may, uh, finding his way. And then some of the test guys, you know, it's the the new rules to the game of the two bounces, uh, the, the the maximum four fielders outside the ring. You know, it's um, not that they're using it as an excuse, but. It certainly does take a while, you know, and the Black Caps are more suited to white ball cricket. Um, it's their favourite form of the game. Um, like I said, the game unfolded um, unfavourably for us yesterday, and uh, hopefully we can restore some pride on Friday. Well, listen, yeah, I mean, congratulations on, on your debut and, and your, your quick fire fire 31 what were the what was the talk going on in the change room when we started when you started to when South Africa started to collapse? Look, um, it's got a it's quite a, f- uh, a funny thing actually you know you, you can't look too far ahead you know you got to look at the situation and then at the time and when 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 things started to happen you know there was a run out and Faf had a run out and you know um, there was an unfortunate run with David Miller with a bowler it was like a, you know he was run out at the nine strikers end and you know stuff never really felt our uh, far away um, to be honest and. Um, Sometimes it goes that way, you know. New Zealand, the Test series, you know, everything fell our way, South Africa's way, and you know, whenever we got put into uh, or they got put into a pressure situation, South Africa or the Test side took advantage of it. And unfortunately, in the, in, in the last couple of games, the what the game in Paul and the game last night, um, things just kind of fell. The bounce of the ball just kind of went New Zealand's way, and. Um, uh, we certainly didn't deserve to win, you know. We we played really poorly, and uh, I, I think the team is, um, I think, openly admitted it. And you know, so but it's done and dusted. We look forward to the game on Friday. Mm-hmm. And uh, also uh, having played under two of your teammates in AB De Villiers and Faf Du Plessis, <laughs> dep- deputising, uh, uh, no doubt a lot of synergy between the two of you. Yes, definitely. I mean, I grew up playing my cricket with Fafa the Titans. You know, we're really good mates uh, on and on and off the field, and no doubt with AB as well. You know, I've, I've 
played a lot of cricket with him and we seem to gel together and I think the fact that you know some of the guys uh, um, you know come in some of the guys are new to the side and, and coming into the side for for the first time after a long time David Miller's made his debut coming back into the side and Colin Ingram has made his debut a year ago and coming back into the side so I think um, we just need to find a little bit of connectivity you know with the guys and we need to find that uh, a bit of bonding time, you know, so we, we enjoy it tonight, uh, spend a day tomorrow in Potchester and before the game on Friday and, you know, I think it's a process and we're looking to, we're looking to build towards the Champions Trophy in England and we're looking to build towards the 2015 World Cup and, you know, um, so we got, uh, we, we got some odd yards ahead of us. Um, I'd like to say that, uh, you know, we rather lose a few games now and, you know, build towards uh, getting that connectivity and that uh, jolly nature of the team going towards the Champions Trophy. Yeah, and I, I mean, South Africans, we don't we don't like to lose in, in, in anything, but I think you raise a good point there. The side is not as settled as the Test team. And, yeah. you know, Gary is still experimenting, finding right players for right positions. Yeah. We're seeing what uh, he's bringing Quinton de Kock in, what he's looking for him to do with the gloves, giving AB a chance yeah. to field, and hopefully mm. that plays off with his, with, and helps him out with the batting as well. So you need a little bit of understanding from the public as Gary tries to sort out exactly what he wants to do with the ODI side. Yes, you know that's that's obviously important in the test side. It's not, you know, the, we're reaping the success now after two, maybe two, maybe three years of hard work. And you know, the, I think the public has to realise, uh, similarly with the box side, you know, when they won the World Cup in 2007, you know, 2003, 2004, 2005, you know, there were lots of unfavourable results with with uh, Jake White's team. And I think we're in a similar process now. The test side, we've been played Jalen playing. The combinations have been settled over the last um, two two years, two, uh, maybe eighteen months, and so that so they're reaping the results now. And um, look at this is I think the start of a process for the one day side, and then and hopefully the public can just stick with us for you know obviously we 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 have to show some faith, and we can't use any excuses, and you know uh, Gary can't experiment for too long, and I think the players know that as well. You know we have to step up to the plate. Uh, professional sport is moving along at a rapid pace these days so you know we have to step up to the plate take responsibility for our actions you know we we, we played poorly over the last two games and hopefully like I said and I'm going to say it again hopefully we can uh, restore some pride on Friday night yeah hopefully you can and uh, we wish you the best of luck congratulations on, on your debut it's pity it, c- it came on the back of a loss but nevertheless well played and, and yeah all the best for, for the final game on, on Friday sure thank you John thanks for having me Cheers, there you go, Fahan Bardin Cheers. making his debut uh, for the Proteas yesterday against uh, the Black Caps, South Africa, unfortunately losing that one, losing the series, but uh, they'll try and regain some pride on Friday in Poch. This is Ball's Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3pm to 6pm Central African time. Balls.co.za